If you've got a Google Chromecast that's stuck on an older firmware version and you think it should have updated itself, it can be annoying as new features might not be available to you. Take this example where the Chromecast in my bedroom is on a newer version than the one in the living room, where they're both second generation devices. This means that the bedroom one works to be included in groups for audio playback, but the living room one doesn't. There's no option in the Google Home app to tell your Chromecast to check for updates, but there is a way to force your Chromecast to check for updates itself. Hello, welcome back to Switched On Network. I'm Paul FP, and if it's your first time here, this channel covers technology, gadgets, and the internet, etc. So click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any great new videos. So, to instruct your Chromecast to reboot and go into the mode to check for updates, you need to run a command from another computer connected to the same network as the Chromecast. First of all, open the Google Home app on your smartphone or tablet and go to the Chromecast settings to determine its IP address on your home network. We'll need that in the next step. Then, on a Windows machine, click Start and type in Notepad. Copy and paste the command from this video's description into Notepad and replace the bit that says Your Chromecast IP with the actual IP address of your Chromecast. Then select all and copy that entire command back to the clipboard. Click Start again and type in PowerShell to load up Windows PowerShell. Paste the command and press Enter and your Chromecast should reboot almost immediately and then boot into updating mode. Wait a while, and if it's successful in finding an update for itself, then it will download and install it. Then reboot, and you should be on the latest applicable firmware. Unfortunately, this didn't work for me. I left it a good half hour, as it sat on 0% before I gave up and rebooted it back to normal. The command for that's in the video description too. So although it didn't work on my Chromecast, I hope it does for you. Let me know in the comments section below if you've had success with this method, and if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and think about subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Once you've done that, why not have a watch of some of the other videos on the channel too? You can click on some on screen now to do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.